Good morning lovely people, welcome back to the channel. I'm Dave Keith. this is ABL Reselling. It's Monday morning, the 6th of September 2021, and today we're going to be picking the orders from the weekend. Now it's not been too shabby a weekend at all this weekend, uh, it's been a mixture of grafting and, well, not being very productive actually, I had a bit of a, a massive fail on Saturday where I set out to do a load of jobs, but none of them actually got done for various reasons, but it was just one of those write-off days, so we won't talk about that. Still, I'm not complaining because the results have been pretty reasonable actually. So this weekend saw a total of 25 orders for a total order value of £629.96. So let's get straight into it but first off let's run the intro. So of course we're in my stock room at the minute as you can see and uh, first out of the gate we've got a set of six EPNS teaspoons. EPNS is electroplated nickel silver and a sugar tongue so location is 4B1. So they've been in stock since the beginning of June this year and I paid £3 for them and they're going out for eleven forty nine. The prices that I'll be giving you by the way will be the including posted price. Let's just shift you over a bit so you can actually see what I'm doing. That might be useful. Okay, next up, 7B. So this is quite a large mixed Meccano Junior bundle. I think it's only been in stock. Let's see now, 31st of the 8th. It's only been in stock a week. It was part of a, a larger bundle that I picked up last weekend, I think it was. There was a bucket and also a case. Uh, the orange case that from the video, that was actually complete, so that's already sold. Meccano Jr. is a really, really quick seller and it'll only get a faster turnover and a great, hold, hold greater value closer to Christmas as well. But this particular bundle, uh, the cost price I put on it was five pound and it's going out the door for 23.98. Next up, big old heavy item. This Hoover Breeze vacuum cleaner. This is part of, I picked up six from uh, Tesco I only bobbed in for lunch ended up buying uh, six Hoovers of th uh, two different types. Purchase price was £35 on the 9th of July and this one's going out the door for £60.98B. Now this is an older camcorder Samsung VPK60. A little bit of a story with this one. I paid £5 for it. Pretty sure that was from a boot sale. That was less than a week ago actually. There, there is a little bit of a story with this. Obviously I test everything um, but on this occasion I've only been able to manually test it because they didn't have an 8mm tape to test it fully so obviously that was mentioned in the listing because of the condition of it and all the other operations working absolutely perfectly fine I'm supremely confident that it works but obviously I've mentioned this in the listing and I have my standard 30 day return policy anyway next up a lamp this bin has been in stock for a little while but on the 8th of June the cost price was £3 definitely from a car boot sale I've actually sold two or three of these now this type of lamp, um, Angle Poise is a brand, so you shouldn't really call it Angle Poise, uh, but it's a very, it's a great descriptive. But this style of lamp is very, very popular. Cost price to me was three pound at the boot sale, and it's going out for thirty eight ninety eight. 5C2. Already packed these, got ahead of the game. Uh, six mini DV tapes. If you saw the video that I got these from, uh, these tapes are actually in a bag with a camcorder that I've listed separately. It's a reasonably fast selling camcorder, although it hasn't sold yet, but technically these didn't cost me anything because they came with it. Been in stock again less than a week and they have sold for £22.98. Now this next item is probably the reason that I decided to do a What Sold video today <laughs> because it's so cool. It's a great story. I mean, it's a great story if you're a reseller and you'll get this kind of stuff. Here we are. This picnic basket. Now the story is I bought a, a, a large bundle of Duplo, two boxes. This was full and there was also a cardboard box full of Lego Duplo, which I'm always picking up because Duplo is dead easy to check and all the rest of it and it commands a pretty decent value. So anyway, picking it all up, done the deal with the seller and he says, well, you might as well keep the, the basket that the, the Duplo is in. He was happy enough with the price that I paid for the Duplo. And uh, I went, oh, nice one, thank you very much. I thought, eh. I'll probably get about a tenner for that maybe plus postage and then I closed the lid and saw this. <laughs> 
And it made me smile because I instantly recognised this as Fortnum and Mason basket. So I listed this separately and this is actually going to America on GSP. Uh, so obviously this has cost me absolutely nothing at all and it's going to the States for $47.98. So a very decent return there. There is actually a decent market for wicker baskets generally. I mean, it's not massive, massive value, but Fortnum and Mason baskets, this is actually one of the the cheap ones uh, there are some different styles that are more sort of like um, a barn end shape probably the best description anyway it's a bit of a dome top and the uh, the flaps flap up either side rather than top opening they do command some impressive amounts of money so Fortnum and Mason baskets definitely keep up keep an eye out for and obviously all the better for the fact that I actually didn't pay anything for this one. Next up, an item that's been in stock for a little while, been in stock since the 19th of April. Paid just a pound for it, definitely at a boot sale, and I'm pretty sure it was a Fitzwilliam car boot. Stock location 2C1. Just a small bundle of Lego vehicles and track pieces. These are actually additional pieces, if memory serves. I, I bought two lots from the same seller. One was a boxed train set, Brio. That sold very, very quickly. These pieces have been hanging around for a little bit kind of thing, but I'll, essentially it didn't cost me anything anyway. Brio is definitely a brand to watch out for, but do check. Uh, I, I've noticed wooden train track sets are quite a lot at boot sales and more often than not they're like ikea or the carousel which is like a tesco type brand which aren't really worth anything at all unless you can get a complete set and maybe stick them on marketplace so like i say cost price on these zero and this small bundle is going out the door for 11.98 next up from the norcross car boot sale i bought a number of north face jackets and a couple of other higher end brands all in pretty good condition but obviously well worn the lady i bought these off was just not doing Doing a deal for a bulk sale but there you go i mean if a deal can't be done if a deal can't be done and if i'm happy to pay the price then that's what it's all about at the end of the day so you don't always win negotiations <laughs> so cost price on this jacket was 10 pound and it's going out the door for 27.98 next 4d1 this little chap is the brand is intellex it's Henry Warmheart. It's one of the bears that has the uh, the bean bag inside that you stick in a microwave. Basically a hot water bottle for want of a better word. Now it's still really warm today and I'm I mean really warm for September it's uncomfortable for a big bloke like me <laughs> but during winter uh, this kind of product is going to be selling really 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 well so watch out for these microwavable bears and obviously they do other type products as well a little later in the year this probably would have fetched a greater return paid three pound for it on the 24th of july and it's going up for ten pound 98 console 7b this is a xbox 360 s uh, 250 gig with four games bit of a weight to this over five kilos so obviously going out by courier it's been in stock for a little while actually 25th of may i bought it paid 25 pound for it and it's going out for 59.98 First of a couple of games that have gone out this weekend for consoles. This is Disney's Extreme Skate Adventure for PlayStation 2. It's only been listed three days and it came as part of a much larger bundle. So the cost price I put on it is £1. Slot location, 4B2. And that one is going out for ten ninety eight. Now I know a lot of people specialise in consoles, games and all that kind of stuff and do really well from it. Uh, but in my experience, it really isn't worthwhile going down that rabbit hole for me uh, because although they're easy to post uh, it's just a large letter uh, from that respect it's dead simple but it's not often that I'm coming across games with the margin in it to make it worth my while uh, if people are happy with making a couple of quid profit then, then that's great but I would much rather personally spend that time sourcing and researching to find products that will give me a greater return it's all about spending less time to actual, actually work as possible for me so one pound into ten pound 98 another camcorder this is again only been in 
it, it's only been listed three days. Stock location is 3C. This is the Panasonic NVDS38B mini DV tape camcorder. It'll take an SD card as well, but it's obviously still old tech. Purchase price was £5 and it's going out the door for £56.98. Another game, fast seller, three days listed. Cost price £1. Same location. Gran Turismo 6 for the PS3. Now, like I say, what cost price £1 and it's going out for £6.98. That again was part of the large bundle. Oh, good. Another one of them. <laughs> FIFA 17 for PS3. This one didn't come with its insert. It's in its original case because it's still got the um, hologram sticker on it. But no insert, no manual, just the case and disc. Uh, again, cost price a pound. Going out the door for £5.44. Now the cost price to send these games out is either going to be 98p if they're under a 100 gram or £1.53 if they're over 100 gram. Probably should have got all these out in one go actually. Another one for the PlayStation 2, Bratz the Movie. Again, same from the same bundle so cost price a pound been listed three days and this one the brats are the ones that uh, to watch out for if you fancy dabbling in video games uh, because this one's going out the door for 16.98 i think there's a couple of brats games in that bundle as well minecraft same bundle here we go another game minecraft playstation edition for the ps3 uh, again cost price one pound this is going out for 12.98 I think it's a uh, car boot Chris, Chris Aiden that I've got to thank for this because I wouldn't necessarily have looked at cycling clothes and I found a bundle in the charity shop about five or six items. I think this is the last but one of those uh, cycling shirts that I've got going out. The brand on this is Cheji, C-H-E-J-I. Been in stock since the beginning of August. Uh, cost price £2 and it's going out for £15.98. So thanks very much indeed, Chris. Okay, so these Playmobil figures came with a bundle of Playmobil and quite often I'll separate the figures because the whole reasonable value. Well into profit on the Playmobil bundle that's already sold. Uh, so the cost price I put on these is zero. Been in stock a little while, end of July, I listed them and they're going out the door for £9.98. Super dry trainers, another fast sellers. There's not much precedent for these trainers. Uh, so I was taking a bit of a punt on them when I picked, picked them up. I only paid a pound for them. Stock location is 1D1. Right on the top of the box as well. That's how long they've been in stock. So listed them on, again, the 3rd of September. Cost price a pound, going out the door for 14 98 So super dry trainers, pretty reasonable bread and butter kind of values. Here we are, these have been really steady sellers for me. Stock location 5B2. These Miranda binoculars, been in stock since the beginning of June. Cost price for them was £3 and they're going out for £15.98. Emoji, I've picked up about 40 of these Emoji card game sets from a charity shop. I did take a load of them to the car boot sale I sold out about three or four weeks ago now and did really well out of them. In fact, one of our lovely subscribers uh, bought a load off me. I'm hoped that she's doing well with them as well. So cost price to me, one pound and it's going out the door for six pound 95. Okay, stock location, one D. Now you guys all have heard me say in the videos that I learn a lot from the feedback that you give me as far as stuff that I've missed at boot sales are concerned. Um, this is an example of that. This is a free view, a digital free view uh, recorder and the brand is Sage Mcom. Never heard of it before and I've walked past these on a few occasions but the comment was left on one of my videos and this and me picking this up was a result of that comment. So cost price to me was £5 and this is going up today for £30. And it's only been in stock for five days. Now here's an item. I'm gonna need a ladder. Careful now. Here's an item that's been in stock for longer than I thought it would. Careful now. These horse riding boots, the brand is Aigle, A-I-G-L-E. Now some of some models of these boots go for really, really good money. I mean, these are nothing to be sniffed at, to be fair, but uh, certainly some of the boots, you, you took, you're talking probably around about the £100 mark. UK size five, I paid £4 for, for them. And they, these, again, were a charity shop, Salvation Army, if memory serves. And they're going out the door for 37 49 Last item today, 4B2, another game. This is Skylanders Trap Team for Xbox 360. Part of that bundle. So again, cost price one pound and it's going out 14.98. And a sale literally just in. Should have left my sound on my phone for that. 
because that ka-ching sound never ever gets boring does it ever now this item i only listed on friday 5c just next to me here it's another mini dv camcorder actually uh, this one is the canon mv850i lots of accessories with this one really really good condition in fact the mini dv tapes the new ones that i mentioned earlier in the video oh, i love how this is all tied together <laughs> this was the camcorder that those tapes came with so that particular deal has stood me in very very good stead i paid 10 pound for the whole lot and as i mentioned the mini dv tapes sold for 20 pound and this camcorder is sold for 74.98 so for 10 pound deal it's 95 pound return i do love it when that happens it's only ever happened once and this is that once <laughs> So time to get all this lot packaged up and off to the post office and courier respectively. Nice short video for you today guys. I just thought it would be interesting to just to see the life cycle of a lot of these items that you will have already seen in my previous videos. Now I suppose obviously in, in all of these cases I'm into profit on every single item. I, I do make losses on occasion with stuff that I make mistakes on and all that kind of stuff. It's really really rare because of my stocking system I keep a track of how much I paid for stuff. So in all of these instances I'm well into profit but I suppose it would be interesting to relate it to the original pickup videos that I did the boot sale videos to see if the prices that these items have sold for are actually the prices that I quoted when I did, did those videos now obviously it took a lot of work to do that cross-referencing and I've really genuinely haven't got time to do that when I'm doing the boot sale videos I'm very very conscious that the listing values that I'm putting on those items that people think oh, that's a load of flannel but absolutely genuinely I do my research so I'm very very confident that in each of these cases the prices that, that they will have sold for are at the very worst case scenario there or thereabouts and on the odd occasion I do send uh, offers out very regularly because it does generate full value sales so in some instances there may have been sort of like a between a five and eight percent discount or offer sent out to potential buyers and that may have been taken up that i'm very confident that the list of values that i put on items are, are bang on the money or at least at that point in time as i do say in the videos now the reason for me to do doing today's video is obviously to show you guys that again the life cycle of the items that i'm picking up but also what you can be looking out for when you're out of the boot sales or the charity shops um obviously always 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 and i can't stress this enough always do your own research extremely important check comps and check sell prices for these the items that you're looking at but at least watching videos like this it can kind of steer you in the right direction when you're seeing i don't know for example camcorders and you think ah saw that in the video let's check the comments for it that's a purpose of doing videos like this anyway so if you found any value at all in it please give it a thumbs up it really does help the channel and helps me help more people which is the reason i'm doing this basically i know you guys are probably already subscribed because obviously you're super savvy <laughs> but if you're not smash that subscribe button and the notification bell will give you a notification of next time i post a video up thanks very much indeed for watching this video guys and thanks very very much indeed for your support for this channel it really is appreciated i've been dave Keith, you've been amazing. I'll see you in the next video. Bye for now.